Hey there. How you doing? I recently realized that uh, the mic was, you know, because it's blocking my face a little bit. But what you can do, if you didn't know, is you can put it on the other side. Hi, my name is Kieran, and welcome to Lamplight Hollow. I don't know anything about this game, so let's just do it. Start a new game? Heck yeah, my dude. You're dreaming again. A lucid dream involving monkeys working in an office. It doesn't end well. Dreams are weird. You feel yourself turn over in bed. Rumble of the morning traffic. But still, you don't wake up. Stories like this one usually start with a kidnapped princess or some kind of evil wizard. This one starts with the snooze button. But mostly, mostly it starts with you falling. Oh, what nice music. My Jennifer Ann's group. Oh, this is pretty. Make a beat, my boys. Ooh. She is dead. So long. You dust yourself off. Miraculously, there isn't a scratch on you. You survey your surroundings, a dank jail cell. You approach the bars. Perhaps they're unlocked. No such luck. You locate the problem, a large stick jammed in the mechanism. Yeah, well, let's, uh, let's give her give her a look-see. It's a stick. <coughs> Examine the stick. Just a plain old stick. I don't trust you. A voice. Ah, hey, what gives? What? Stick. Will you knock that off? I'm right here. Ah. Well, I've never seen a fairy stuck in a gate before. Huh. What are you doing in the door? Are you more of a stick? Yeah, don't fairies have wings? Don't fairies have wings? Does not look like I have wings? If I did, I wouldn't be in this mess, would I? Yeesh. Sorry, I didn't mean to go off like that. Feel free to lend a hand, by the way. As you can see, I'm a little sticker stuck. I, d I was right to not trust the stick. Thanks. So another dream of paying us a visit, eh? Let's just bust out of here. Dreamer. Ten a penny round it. Oh, whoops. First, let's bust out this dungeon that smells inexplicably off feet. Let's go. It's very jaunty music. Wilbur. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Wilbur, by the way. Wilbur Soot. To be more precise, I mean... By the way, my name is Wilbur. Not that my name is Wilbur, by the way. That would be silly. Okay, okay. A little anal about that, I see. I'm trying to be more precise in my speech. Be a better tree fairy and all that. It'd have been enough to chat. Wilbur joined the party. Heck yeah. Okay, I got a friend. That's nice. A little stickly friend. Oh, as I feared, we're in a... in a... tutorial dungeon. Any dream entering wandering into here is doomed. Unless... Oh, well. No sense worrying about it now. What do you mean by unless? Hmm. Uh, time will tell. Speaking of time, it's time you learned about getting around. More specifically, how to navigate through this dream space. So we're gonna go take a look at that room in the left, okay? That room. Choose travel. Okay. 
Great. Now pick a direction. Oh, interesting. That's it. We're on our way. Ooh, squiddy boys. Let's get some hentai. Yeah. What do you suppose that's about? Hentai? Ah, uh, well, nothing to do with us. Ah. Um, hello? It's all confusing. Well, this is getting weird. Key. The key case is empty and reads Dungeon Dun Dungeon Dungeon Ba Dungeon Basement Key. Do not remove under any circumstances. Well that's inconvenient. Now where do we find that key? It could be anywhere in this labyrinth. Oh. Oh, there it is. Give me a you. Wilbur rushed in. <gasps> Oh, it is this kind of game. A gribbly appeared. And it has the key. Listen up. I'm going to show you how to negotiate. First, choose face. Then, uh... Then you just talk to him till he gives you the key. Well, good luck. Wilbur ran away and hid behind a rock. Face. Murder. Talk. That's it, he's coming around. Gribbly looks like he's about to hand you the key. Gribbly ran away, it's dead. Alright. Party gained 68 XP. Dreamer was victorious. Hair in my everywhere. It's getting away. Look, there it is. Wow, you didn't uh, run far, did you, buddy? Oh, you got friends. Uh oh. Ooh, big power stance. A cohort of gribbles appeared. Okay, well, at least I get to teach you about targeting. Most of your powers will only affect one critter at a time. Now, when you talk, you'll just have to pick one the one which has the key. Er, uh, which one has the key anyway? Ah, that one. Give him a good talking to. You, sir, please. Three much shots with the entity. Did nothing. Did nothing. Did nothing. Oh, look, now it's over there. Swap tackets. I'll chat you all to death. Fail. Did nothing. Did nothing. Now it's over there. I think it'd be more effective if we just ate the rat. Swamp rats do. <gasps> yes, I shat it with him. Score. Gribbly handed you the key. You did it. I'm regretting this voice. Gain 10 XP. Dreamer's now level two. Dreamer was victorious. You picked up the basement key. Why does a dungeon need a basement key anyway? Ugh. I have I have a feeling it unlocks that big brass door thingy back where we came from. So let's go. Now that it's safe. Oh, now that it's safe, Wilbur rejoined the party. Well, you got the hang of moving around and whatnot. I'll leave the rest to you. If you get stuck, sticked, just give me a call. Oh, and uh, you can free roam now, I guess. Okay. When choosing travel, you can now select the free roam option. This allows you to move around freely with the left left mouse or with the keyboard arrow keys. To exit free roam, just press X and bring up the main menu or leave the room via an exit. Lead the way, skipper. A drafted dungeon. How it is coming for? <laughs> You've just opened the party menu. This is used to check party members' items, equipment, and status. When opening the party window, press Q to cycle through your team. Okay, I don't. 
I guess we'll travel. Oh, let's get some free roam going here. Locked up tight, locked up tight. I see ya, I see ya. How about over here? <gasps> there was two fairies for a second there, and that's something I don't like. Uh, smells like Swiss cheese and y'all. Uh, maybe... No, there was... There's a chest over here that I wanted to see. Oh. Um... Inspect... It's a dead end. Yes, open it. Ah, the stinky cheese. You just found a secret. Secrets are hidden throughout the world. They all stink. At the end of the game, you'll receive a score based on how many you found. A Ghibli appears and waves angrily at you. It would appear that you've taken its cheese. Listen, you did steal a key from me. And that was pretty uncool. And it fills me with a lust for vengeance. I'll give you the cheese. You hand the cheese back to the Gribbly. It looks grateful. Handed you a plush Gribbly? Aww. What a sweetie. Hmm. Hello. Nope. Okay. Head back down here then. Okay, right, let's try the lock. It worked! Yay! Hello, Shadow Demon. It's that figure again. There's something familiar about it. Could it be? I don't know who I am anymore. Whatever's going on here, I don't rate it. And if I had to, I'd give it zero stars. Would not recommend. Oh, <laughs> Wilbur, you bantering buffoon. <clears throat> Arthur says slaps a <laughs> Snaps a twig. I know. I know. It's a good time to tell you about... And... I thought that was a pair of lips. <laughs> Excuse me. When you're in a room like this, you can give the work act command. Give it a try. You can meddle nearby objects and such. It is also or inspect. You may use it to take a closer look at your surroundings. I've done this. Or oh, don't. Don't bog off my nose. What will you inspect? Wilbur. It's a wise talking stick. Or is he a wise talking stick? Oh, difference. Commas make a difference. Now let's go for the lake. Perfectly normal underground lake. Alright, weird grass. Perfectly normal weird grass. The grass here is unusually thick. Not dense, but rather bulky. Hmm, let's pick some. You stoop down to pick up the weird plant. Is... Is this lettuce? Enchanted salad. Nice. Hint, to access your inventory, click on the party icon in room to screen to choose backpack items. Tombs. Two spoopy long looking mausoleums. I've never seen mausoleums spelled out. With two sets of stairs heading down. Sign. It reads. In a free roam mode, press X to bring up the menu screen. You can quickly exit free roaming door check items set as equipment. Weird. Take a direction. Let us free roam. I would like it to free roam with the place. Oh, is that that then? Cool, the lettuce, she blocks me. What are you, what are you? Are you just rock? Is just rock. Into left room we go. Yo, yo. Hey, check out this cons conspicuous button. Whoops. No. No, 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 We already brought Chatterbox appeared. 
and he won't stop talking. <laughs> it's a chatterbox security device. It'll talk your socks off if you let it. Plug your ears and wait for a window. Quick, use the fortify command to throw him down. Tells you another... <laughs> it's working. Now keep using fortify. One more should do the trick. Chatterbox noticed you weren't listening. Chatterbox stopped. Oh, <laughs> buddy. The door opened. Let's run for it. Oh, my keen tree fairy senses are telling me something's coming. It's the forest. The path is open outside. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hold on, there's another crypt here. Ah, oh, pump a nickel. The forest calls, child. Oops. Will you answer? Let's see, let's see over here. Into the into the crypt. You open the crate. Uh, Wilbur, is there something you're not telling me? Because I think there's something you're not telling me. I found a ball of string. Uh, the treasure in this dungeon is terrible. All right, so we're just not going to talk about the. Uh, I'm just not going to talk about your twin. Your conspicuous twin. No? Okay. <laughs> that. Doesn't look good, does it? You said it. Still, best to push on. What is it? What? No idea, really. It's not like I know everything, is it? Just because I'm a handy helper who knows his onions anyway. Anyway, let's go. You sound as if you know. What, me? Don't be ridiculous. I'm leafing. <laughs> I hate to stick my branch in where it doesn't belong. What made you come here anyway? I don't know. Pull the other one. Every dreamer comes here as a reason. So you might as well. You really don't know, do you? So you've opened a portal. Brought all kinds of nasty things along. Maybe gotten yourself stranded here forever. You don't know why. Eh, that's pretty funny. As for myself, I was... Cool, was that? Hmm, let's keep moving. The forest is just up ahead. Yeah, let's keep walking forward. What happened to the lights? Hmm. We were so close. Hello, friend. Hey, it's you. And, uh... That's my, that's my friend. Say, isn't that the ghost we saw in the hallway? You're coming to Allison's movie night. You can't... Oh, you coming to Allison's movie night? Can't. Hey, did Allison say anything about us? When we're not there, I mean... I don't think so. Why? Well, don't tell anyone, but... Harper's got it into her head that Allison doesn't like us. Wait, hold on. Who's Harper? Her girlfriend. She said Allison talks about us when we're not around. But that's really unlike Allison. Kind of makes me question things, you know? I mean, I trust her, but if Allison isn't gossiping about us, then why stir things up by saying she did? I mean, she wouldn't just create drama for no reason, right? When I ask about that, she shrugs it off. I don't know, maybe I am being too sensitive. Maybe I am overthinking stuff. 
Yikes. Sorry if I'm oversharing. I'm gonna go grab another drink. Want anything? That word plays over in your head. Yikes. I should have said something more. Hey. Hey. So your friend opened up to you, and all you said was yikes? Well, it happens. The right words don't always come to us at the right time. That's true. Not everybody is elegant. Like you. You clumbering freak of a human being. Sometimes the right words come to you later on. The eloquent. But something definitely seems odd, though. Let me see. Your friend's girlfriend is telling her that people are telling tales about him, correct? Only looks like it's not true. I mean, what's the point in doing that? Are you okay, buddy? And why are we here instead of the forest? Huh? Oh. It's a nightmare cloud. Yeah, so this is what I meant about you bringing things along for the ride. The whole forest is in trouble from all those worries. Especially if the cloud keeps growing like this. We have to stop it. Wait. We don't know what's in there. I suppose I better grow in too. But you owe me one. <laughs> for real this time. Nice. You now control more than one character. In encounters, each character will take turns taking action. Hi. At this point, you may also want to... It's just my banjo. And various other instruments. Yep! Amalgam emerged from the nightmare cloud. Oh, it's like an amalgamation. Yeah. To borrow your catchphrase. Yikes. Oh, no. Okay, stay calm. Nothing we can't handle. Use what you've learned. Fortify when it looks like it's gonna scare us like that. And talk to it when it scars down. <laughs> you want me to talk to that thing? Um, I'll do my best. Remember, it can't hurt us. Not physically, at least. Emotionally. Done. And I'll... Uh, I'll do what I can. Wilbur's skills revolve around restoring power to the party. Be sure to use them often. He can also cheer you on. This will restore power to all members, but you can only be but can only be used when it has enough P. Hey, buddy. Yeah, and then he cheers me on. Aw, thank you, Wilbur. Oh no. Wilbur I don't know how how would I know if he's gonna if he's gonna do this again if he's gonna try and spook us. Let's if you cheer us on again. Yep. Hint, when a party member reaches zero power, they will flee the encounter. Once all party members have fled, your journey will end. However, each turn, there's a small chance they'll pick themselves up and return to help out. So don't give up. I'm okay. I can keep going. <gasps> oh, Wilbur. You're going to keep talking to him. You're going to keep cheering us on to keep us in max capacity. Ah. I stared at you. <gasps> Amalgam fades away. Nice. As it does, its eyes rake across you one last time. Something tells you this isn't over. Gain 25 XP. Dreamer's party was victorious. Hey, what's that? I gained a red flag. That's what my ex says. We, we did it. We're back. The exit. I can finally go see my people. Your people? My fellow tree fairies, of course. Shall we? Well, here we are. The great outdoors. Are you pumped? You should be. This is where all the tree fairies live. Among others. 
Don't look at me like that. It's all perfectly safe. So long as you stick with me. Stick. That wasn't a joke. No. There should be a crossroads around here. Head south, around the bend. Then north. That should do it. If you get lost, just give me a shout. I'll be right behind you. Use hurrah to explore and find secrets at your own pace. There are secrets which can only be found in this mode, and vice versa. Be sure to use both movement methods to get the most out of your adventure. The air is crisp. On that crispy note, I'm going to end this video off. Um, this is interesting. It's, I really like the art style. I think it's cute. Ooh, and the soundtrack just kicked off. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment if you didn't. It's all G. As always, I love you. Have a wonderful day.